and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens. Or should I just say Bargain Bell? Seeing as uh, Chris spat his dummy out because you all made me last week while I wasn't here. So he says he's not going to join me today. So looks like I'm winging it on my own. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, God. Too old for this. <laughs> you couldn't do without me. There's no chance. You all right, everybody? You ready for a jam-packed, exciting show? Can't hear you. Well, the way the chat's gone, good luck in catching up. Right. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Um, Annabelle did the intro because, <laughs> well, you all wanted her last week, so you got her. Um, we're in a bit more of an unusual setup this week because. I like it. No, she doesn't like it. I don't really like it either. I'm sat on a stool and it just doesn't work so well. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, our sofas are going by the end of this week, so we need a different setup. Um, so yeah, welcome everybody. Uh, Linda and Gaz first in there. Uh, Peter Ray's in. Hi, Peter. Uh, Andy. You're right, Andy. Uh, uh, uh. Everyone's talking about the weather. Yeah, fence panels. Hi, Rebecca. Uh, uh, uh. Oliver Ian. Hi, mate. Uh, what else we got? Chris. Oh, God. There's a lot of chit chat going on. Damien. Did I say Chris? Chris Tyler. I think I said it already. Uh, Mr. Diggs is in. Steve O. Our bona fide rock star is in the house. Got a few of them. Uh, oh, uh, Al, Al Stone Vintage Co. Yeah, we've got a new viewer. Welcome if you are new to us. We Ian. tend to find it's not, it's just somebody who wants to throw yeah. us off and change the name. I know, I know. Right. Um, Andrew's there. Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Uh, Ali. I know I've missed a few. I'm going to skip down. Feel free to join in with the chat at any point. Um, you it's can ask such, us. It's such a British conversation going on here. We get weather. a bit of wind, we get a bit of flooding, and that's it. All the British folk like to talk about. As you all know, right? There's plenty of wind on this show as well. You remember the last time Shut when up. we were live? It was cookie. Whatever. It was cookie. Um, and I will apologise, folks. I do look like death warmed up. I'm still not 100%, so mm. I'll try my best. She does. Yeah. Hello, it's Georgie. Uh, John. Okay, right, I'm at the bottom. But I know I've missed some people out, so sorry about that. So feel free to ask any questions that you like. It can be reselling, non-reselling, whatever. Just drop a question in if you've got one. We'll try and get to it. Um, so today's show, we're going to talk about some of our news about the move. Um, also, we are going to do some sales in last week. Um, I'll give you an update and then we'll do some screen sharing and um, ping up some sales. And we'll just talk about anything else that crops up along the way. <laughs> I think Dave's, uh, Dave's not liking the weather because he said he's just after 20, 20 post boxes and five post, but post office is always frozen. No, I appreciate you having to work outside this weather. It's probably not the best. I have the luxury of just driving to work and staying in an office all day. Devon Twins. Hello, Devon Twins. Good to have some fellow Deviners, or whatever you call it. Are they Deviners down there? I don't know. Dave wants to know if we're gonna be if we're gonna be on his patch. What's your patch, Dave? I'm not sure where you're from, Dave. I can't remember. I can barely remember people's names, let alone where you're from. Let us know where you um where you where you are and oh Barnstable. No. Mm, no, we're south. Well, oh hang on, hang on. <laughs> we'll come to that in a bit. Don't get too excited. Do know where it is though, because we um we did pay, we have been we there. did pay it a visit. Didn't we paid we? it a visit. We looked at a business there. We um yeah we had a look at a business we and we sharply left the place. 
Don't be dissing Dave's area. I'm joking. Sorry, I'm eating Christmas cake. Okay. With this new microphone here. <coughs> it's probably picking up me eating. Possibly. Sorry. Okay, okay. So we're not very <laughs> organised tonight, are we? For those of you who are new, I am a full-time reseller, predominantly eBay. Annabelle helps out I when she like can be it. asked, <laughs> which is not very often. <laughs> but she does help out, and she's uh, almost as good at me as good as me when it comes to sourcing stuff. Almost as good as you. I am way better than you. Mm. I actually okay. have. I actually take a little bit of time and, mm. and look for stuff. Yeah, we have different styles. Mm. Okay, so we've got some news. So I'm liking this. People are saying good evening, Belle and Chris. Mm. <laughs> Don't forget who comes first. Look at look down here. Car boot, Chris, and bargain Belle. Talking about um, it. So, because we've got some news to tell you, I get to use the VT. Oh, yeah. So, what do you say when we're about to hit that? Roll the VT. Roll the VT. So, our big move to Devon... <clears throat> is coming to a head. Sorry, I got food stuck in my tooth. Oh. We've just had tea. We're supposed to be apologize. professional. <laughs> Stop picking your teeth. You're disgusting. You disgust me. <laughs> um, Why are you so short? Because I'm plowed. I'm like, no. I'll sit up. And the cushion made me sit on. I'm actually on a chair that I can't reach the floor on and on cushions. Ruining this segment. <laughs> um, right, okay, so the move to Devon that we've been talking about for quite some time is coming to a head at the moment. We went down there um, Thursday, Friday last week because we were having real trouble finding a property um, to let. Um, so we thought it best to go down there in person. I gave my idea. Yes, it was her idea. Um, and line up a few properties over the two days and view them. And um, we saw, I don't know, what, four or five properties. Hmm. And the last one we saw, we really liked. Um, so we've had an application for the property approved. Um, we've just got to go through the references, which should be fine, and the finances check, hmm. which, fingers crossed, should be fine. Um, and then we'll be good to go. And... On the same day that we decided on that house, Annabelle's job or new job rang up whilst we were driving home and said that all the vetting and everything had cleared and um, she was good to get a start date. So everything seemed to fall into place all at once on the same day after quite a lot of uncertainty and stress thinking about how we were going to organize everything yeah bearing in mind that i actually had my interview in december yeah so it has taken quite a while for it to come through but bizarrely it was literally within an hour of picking the house and deciding to put the application form in and yeah them actually saying that we could have it and then straight away it was just like a phone call wasn't it? it was like fate it was definitely it was like um fate. it was a very happy day yeah, uh, so fingers crossed everything will be okay with the house that we agreed to let. So it, it's in a place. Now, for those of you who know Devon, if you don't know Devon, you probably won't know the place. But it's in a place called Modbury, which is five minutes outside of Ivy Bridge. In the South Hams. In the South Hams area. And it's a few minutes... It's a few minutes away from the beaches. It's a few minutes away from Dartmoor. King's Bridge is just around the corner, which is a lovely little town. But Modby itself is a really nice mm. little town as well, isn't it? It's just what we were looking for. The, sort of loca the location is absolutely perfect. And considering it's just a little village, there's two charity shops there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. But this, I mean, this is how much fate it was. Um, apparently rented properties... Even 
properties for sale don't come up very often in this area because it's so sought after and people just tend to want to be there this day and don't mm. don't go again so we really really have felt lucky because we literally only made the appointment on the thursday when we got there didn't we i rang up and the property itself wasn't even ready for being viewed um they, they hadn't set anything up and she literally just said to me if i can get the keys for it you can come and look Mm. and that was it wasn't it and then they were like we're not even bothered about asking anybody else if we're happy with you which we are and the, the landlord's fine we'll just go for it we were brilliant wasn't it mm. and the super dog friendly very dog friendly super dog friendly so we don't need to worry about our little cookie being there yeah. as well and you know how hard it can be at the moment to rent properties that will allow pets really difficult so we struck lucky and we found um a landlord or a letting agent that were really keen to obviously they're all keen to let the places but they go so quickly they didn't have to go out of the way for us yeah but not everybody was overly keen on letting to people with animals were no they? i know i know so go on let's have a look at what we've got in the chat right well going back to where you think it uh dave asks which is hardest working between us both uh, what time are you on there just can you give me a time so i can see how far back to go 1909 1909 dave yeah Who's the hardest working okay. between us? I have to say, we're, we're probably equally as hard working, aren't we? Just in different ways. Because yeah. you do, obviously, the eBay in and this side of things. But I also work very hard at my job. And Yeah, we do both work hard. I do tend, I can get demotivated quite quick. So you're probably more dedicated than I am, I would say. I, I get distracted really easily, especially when I'm listening at home. Things are going on and I've got YouTube on or whatever. I'm listening to some music or I, I do kind of get distracted. We're both pretty yeah, hard. We're both, we're, both, we're both hard workers, which is why we work so well, isn't it? Thanks for the question. Uh, Paradox Picker said that we should do a sourcing competition in the next car boot to see who's the best one. We have done one of those already. Not just not us. We did it as a team, which we won. No, we did me versus you, didn't we? Yeah. Oh yeah, I lost. If you look back on <laughs> if you look back on the old videos, there's a car boot Chris versus Bargain Bell video. That was one of the first it might have been the first video that she actually appeared on. Yeah, and to be fair, um, I think we're still waiting to sell some of my stuff. I think there's like two items left that we haven't sold. As soon as they sell, we'll do an update video. Um, so we have done that already. Yeah, not about good that's idea. How long, that's how long ago it was. I might do it again. Dave says he knows the car boots around here. Yeah. Oh, Dave, I've you might want to join it, but I've set up a um, Facebook group for the Devon and Southwest area, so that everyone can share um, car boot events, jumble sales, all that kind of stuff. Share it in the group. So. Um, I set up a similar one in Manchester. It's got like 15, 1,600 people on it and lots of sharing of car boots and events. So I decided I'd, I'd set one up for the Devon area because I, I couldn't find one. So I thought I'd do one. It's already and it's already gaining. Momentum, it? Yeah, it's gaining some good momentum. So have a look on Facebook, Dave, and anyone else who's down from that area. There's a lot of congrats in there. So thanks, guys, for, for yeah, all your you warm all. wishes. It, it has been... It has been um, Feels like forever that we've been waiting for this to kind of take shape and actually be ready. The be Devon ready twins for it. live in the same town as Dave. Yeah. Barnstable. Isn't Barnstable where uh, the Vicar of Dibby, Dibley was from? Or was that somewhere else? No idea. Uh, so then we've got John Carr. I'm not even going to pronounce, I'm not even going to say that. He said, You're both as mad as ever. We'll miss you both, but you know I'm here. If you need any advice from your old colleague, Johnny. Um... Oh, it's John Core. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, John Core, yes. Oh, as long Get... as it doesn't yeah. involve John computers. Cole. Oh, we no. know John. No, it's because he's then got GFFTR5GUI7. So I was trying to say it all as one word. Thanks, John. And um, it was nice to see you again today, albeit in not nice circumstances. Yeah. We sadly said goodbye to a very good friend and colleague today. So it's been a bit of a bit of a rough day. Bit of a rough day. Uh, but yeah, don't. I've been arranging with Claire. You come in visiting. We have a spare room. Um, Alstone Vintage. Get yourself surfing. Mm. 
I don't, I can't, I can't put my eyes under water, so it just won't work for me. I, I can't open my eyes. Oliver um, Ian's got family down in Ivy Bridge, so I guess oh. we'll be seeing you, Oliver. Come and say hello. Give yeah. us a shout. How far is it from Wrexham? Um, no idea. <laughs> probably about four hours or something, maybe. Got a spare room, Andrew. Uh, DMH Products is in. Hiya. Uh, still trying to catch up here on the... Uh, uh, oh, God, is it jump? It's jumped down. <laughs> See, Oliver, I get this right, Oliver. Oliver has said, rematch, Bill, you could take him down, I reckon, now. And to be fair, when we did the last one, I wasn't up to the scratch with the sourcing. So I reckon if we she, did it now... Yeah. She would beat me now, I think. I would probably Honest to God, I think she would beat me. Yeah. Uh, Sam Morris says, Devon looks like a good spot to live from, from what I've seen on Google, not from the UK, so I had to Google it, yeah. Yeah, well, if you have a look at Modbury itself, if you want to Google that, it's absolutely stunning. It is nice. Yeah, per it's a perfect location. It's like where we're based, it's, it's in the countryside, um, but literally a 10-minute drive in one direction, and we've got three or four beaches um to get to 10 minutes in the other way on your run in the dartmoor sort of is it dartmoor exmoor dartmoor dartmoor area so you're out in the countryside and then we're about 20 minutes outside of plymouth so then we've got a big town area exeter to the north yeah exeter going up yeah so there's lots going on um so, in and twin said are you still going to open a coffee shop we what we're going to do it's on the horizon but we feel like we need to get down there, get settled, get to know the area, um, and then we're going to decide if we're going to open one or not. We really, really still want to do it, but we're not going to rush into it because no, we just it, have to make sure that we can pay all the bills and everything, and everything's okay. And we like the area, right. and it, yeah, that yeah. we get a feeling for it. We we both got quite big families that we are close to so and i've obviously got two sons that aren't coming with me because they're all grown up and they're doing their own thing so just doing the move itself at the moment is, is sort of a is going to be the biggest challenge it's um, been it's been pretty stressful just getting to this point and we've not even moved yet so <laughs> it's only going to get worse <laughs> um so once we're there once we've settled in we will then decide what the next move is going to be yeah doesn't make any sense now for us to try and do too much in one go. But thanks, Andy, for that for that comment there. It's very uh, very kind of you. And Andrew's looking forward to his holiday. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. And if we've already got people staying, don't worry. There's literally a, about a five minute walk. There's a nice little B and B as well. Uh, Paradox Picker said, "Are we all invited to the housewarming party? Go for it. We've got a nice big garden now, haven't we?" Barbecue out. It was a big garden, but it's bigger than what we got. Hmm. It's got grass for a start. Uh, Dave says we've got Tolkien painting for charity shops. There's loads of areas for charity shops. Mm -hmm. Kingsbridge. Yeah, they've is, got quite a few. Haven't yeah, they? is lit, is a five minute drive, and um, there's probably six or seven charity shops there. I think so. The last time we went, Ivy Bridge has got four or five, which is the other way. Five minutes the other way. Um, if you want to go a bit further, Plymouth, but I don't we know. How we've good never it is. been to Plymouth been yet, there. though, have we? So we, we have no idea what to expect. People tell us not to bother with Plymouth, but we've got we'll go Abbott. and have a look at it. We've got Newton Abbott where I'm going to be working yeah. from, and Newton Abbott's got loads, didn't it, when we actually looked? Um, Linda and Gaz have put their promoted listings button is back on the eBay app for how long this time? So I'm assuming it's missing. Promoted listings is what? Promoted listings button is back on the eBay app. Oh, right. I don't ever remember seeing gonna, it. Have you been missing it? No, I don't ever remember seeing the button on well, the app. Apparently, it's there now. Everybody, everyone's checking now. You know, don't you? Plymouth's a bit rough. Prefer Bristol. Linda and Gaz says, uh, will you be doing the Death Pal quiz again? Best quiz ever. Yes is the answer, regardless of what Chris is about to say. It was my idea to start it, and I like the fact that everybody enjoyed it. 
So even if we don't put all the other sections back in, we will be doing the Death Power puzzle. We need to re reevaluate what's going on. It's all right. right. Listen, way. it's all right you saying that. <laughs> you didn't have to do all the work for it. And I still won't do, but we're going to do it. Okay. But I think we need to reevaluate our live show, whether it be. Yeah. We're always reevaluating, aren't we? See, we're changing things. Well, the all thing the time. we've got is we were always a bit limited to like day and time and da 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 because we didn't want to do it when other people were doing lives um but also i work shifts so i do quite a lot of late shifts which means that we were limited we needed a, there's only ever monday where i don't ever do a late shift which is why we've done it on monday but i'm going to be working day shifts at my new job once we get to devon so it gives us more options so it gives basically. us more options um so yeah so watch this space for we're going to go live every night. <laughs> We're going to do an Andrew. We're going to go live every night at nine o'clock. And get pissed. <laughs> and choke. Look. We love you. <laughs> That's a bit hard. Uh, oh, yeah. Rebecca says Andrew and Cookie come. And, and, Andrew and Cookie. <laughs> Cookie and Barty could become friends if Andrew yeah. comes to visit. Not sure Cookie wouldn't have something to say about that. Um, most people buying a house. Is there a good school? What are the transport links like? Resellers buying a house. How many car boots do they have? <laughs> Where's the charity shops? <laughs> that is 100% correct, Andy. <laughs> We've literally, they're right, I'm not kidding. I don't give I'm a shit how many you. schools there are. When we were looking around these, house, these houses uh, over Thursday and Friday, do you know what he was Googling? How far the my Hermes drop-off points were, where there was a post office, and what charity shops were close by. That was the... Mm. <laughs> and for me, it was like, can I get to work? <laughs> Simple, can I get to work? Which, believe it or not, in a lot of their remote little towns... It's, it can be difficult. It's quite but difficult. Because Modbury is just a few minutes away from the Devon Expressway, which is the main motorway that goes through Devon, or South Devon, she can literally jump on there and come off at Newton Abbott, and it's very, very easy. And we've had to take into consideration, because I'm sure you're all aware that I do have a health condition, which is very unpredictable. She's sick. Uh, I'm sick in the head. She's one sick mother... <laughs> um so i do have to take that into consideration so there is a train station in the town which if i'm not very if i'm not capable of driving that day i can jump on the train car and it takes me straight to where i'm working so yeah covered all angles uh, devon twin says do we have enough people in devon for a reseller meetup i'm sure we could find some and especially if we end up with a cat um, a coffee shop yeah. You can all come to our coffee shop. You can all spend all your money in the shop buying <laughs> drinks and stuff. And stock. Uh, Mr. Nick says Rome wasn't built in a day. It certainly Absolutely. wasn't. So we're taking it slow. What's what's that phrase that my colleague used to say? Slowly, slowly catch your monkey. You took that off a program and watched last No, night. I told you. Frank at work used to say it to me all the time. Slowly, slowly catch your monkey. I like it. Oh, what's this? Rebecca says Salton Estate is lovely. Lots of space for Cookie to run. Well, we've been to Salton, haven't we? No, oh, no that's Salton. Salton. That's Salton. That's, well, Unless it's the same thing, you meant. Um, does Modbury have broadband? Um, <laughs> I hope it, so. <laughs> I've, I've checked this. Um, I don't think Virgin are in there, but I think um, we can use Sky. So, fingers crossed anyway. Otherwise, this could be a big mistake. Well, to be fair, one of the places that we went was absolutely stunning. It was dead close to where I was going to work. The house was amazing. But literally, it was in a no-go internet zone, wasn't no, it? it was... We couldn't even get Google Maps to come up so we knew how to get out of it. It was so bad. We just had to keep driving in a straight line till we got some internet. Uh, Andrew said he hasn't been live since Friday, just saying. It's, I'm pretty sure it's only Monday. Oh, yeah. That's true. <laughs> uh, John Cor says, we will both be down, and you just know you need to take me to the local car boots. Now he's invested in his new car when he, to get down there. Yeah, we need to take him to find some some stock so he can pay it off. I'm looking forward to seeing this uh, new, new car of yours. Dave, forget cable-related services. Yeah, I'm not worried. 
We're with Sky now, so I expect we'll just transfer it in some way or another. Jonathan Cuttle says, you're all lucky your car boots have started. I've got to wait till March. But mind, there's one in Carlisle on the 16th. That's not true. We don't have any at the moment. Um, we have bowlers. That's indoor all year round, though. But our car boots are like, they don't start till March, generally, as well. The outdoor ones. I think Ex Exeter Racecourse is on this next... What day is it? Yeah, Exeter Racecourse is on at the weekend, I think. Um, hi, uh, Trotters, Jimmy. Um, okay, so shall we do some sales roundup from the last week now that we've caught up? Um, so what what do you say? Should I go for it? No, that's not the, that's not the keyword. That's not the phrase. What are we doing? Roll the VT. These are a few of my favourite things. These are a few of my favourite things. These are a few of my favourite things. Hearing them, my favourite things. Chris is just trying to work out if he's played the right VT. I'm, I'm not sure. Did I play the right VT? <laughs> so we've got a death pile. One job. Shout one out. Job. Oh noes. No, it's the right one. It's the right one. So these are our favourite sales of the week. That was it. Yeah, I forgot there. Okay, so let's share our screen. Let's hope it works because I've had issues at the weekend. There we go. Thank you. So let's just ping that up. So um, these are some sales that I've handpicked um, for the last seven, eight, nine days because uh, I didn't do this last week, I don't think. Um, so this one was something that we bought from the vintage kilo sale um it wasn't the most recent sale that i went to it was one that was about a couple of months ago maybe probably just before christmas um it didn't sell for 79.99 we ended on offers it sold for a fat 50 pound plus postage um these are the pictures that i took of it um, so it went for £50 plus postage, which is six ninety nine. So that will cover a bit of insurance on it as well. Um, so 50 quid. And because of the weight of it, I reckon that this probably cost around £10. It's like a shell suit, slightly thicker than a shell suit material. So the, the weight is probably getting close to a kilogram. Um, so it probably cost about a tenner, sold for 50 Not a bad little sale. Uh, next one that I've saved was this. Now, I bought six of these um, little plushies. Who picked them? Hmm? Who picked them? You weren't going to buy them. <laughs> okay. Uh, Annabelle spotted them. They're in the Disney. They're in the Disney store sale. Um, so we paid around three dollars each mm. so what's that about two pound fifty maybe two pound thirty something like that and i had them up i bought six of them in total um they're only little things i had them up for 16.99 each and somebody bought four they bought four of them but the important thing is i have a multi-buy set up multi-buy offers uh, discount set up on my account so they bought four, which enabled them um, to get a multi-buy discount. And I can't remember how much that is, but I know it goes up in multiples. I think if you buy two, you get 5% off. You buy three, you get 10% off. Or something like that anyway. I can't remember how I have it set up. But they ended up spending 57 quid plus postage on um, four of these plushies. So that was a nice little sale from our USA trip. Mm. This is from the most recent kilo sale that I went to. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, uh, what did you call them? Gillets, 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 Gillet. vests, body warmers, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, but it was a nice one. Um, it actually went on an offer for $29.99. Uh, I took a 25% off discount on it and uh bird in hand is the way i see it i probably i generally price things at the top end of the market anyway um so that i can send some good offers out 
So this was really light. So I reckon it probably cost no more than five pound when you weigh it. Um, so yeah, nice little sale there. Now I'm showing you this one because I, I, if you follow my Instagram account, which is um, Carboot Chris, just search Carboot Chris wherever you are, um, and I do tend to bundle things together. So if I have a lot of like items, very similar items that have low value individually, I tend to put them in bundles. Um, it gives better value. You can get a higher price and get rid of a few things all at once. I've done a load of Walking Dead bundles this week. I think I've done five or six Walking Dead bundles uh, because I had loads of little items that were only worth you know, maybe four, five, six pound an item, but I bundled them together, put them up for 30 quid. So this was a Sonic bundle. And what was included in it was Sonic DVD, animated DVD. Now, don't forget, of course, the film's coming out soon as well. So that mm. probably had an influence. There's a framed um, print that was from a loot crate. There's a tails plush. There's a cushion cover, which is really, oh, which is really cool. And um, some little pin badges. And they went on an offer for, I think it was $29.99. So if, if I were to add up the value of this, what it cost me, I'd probably say, it's, well, it's really difficult actually to work that out because things come in bundles. So that's probably two, three, four, five. Probably cost me about five or six pound. And it went, I think, for 29 99 so it was either 29.99 or it might be 24.99 but i can't remember either way it's sort of five times value so it's not too bad next one um this i nearly threw this out if i'm honest with you and i really did not expect this to sell so quick i bought this as part of a vintage um job lot it was a blind purchase so i bought ba i bought basically a certain number of kilos it was a blind box of half shite it was, it was yeah it was pretty much a blind box of crap and i think we've mentioned it before <laughs> so some of that stuff i've just pretty shocked already but and this was one of the items that i had in the charity shop bag but i took it out and i thought you know what i'm just going to list this cheap and just see what happens um it wasn't in amazing condition i listed it as not you know, as being in very used condition, well well worn. Um, I didn't even, you know, have that much information on what it was other than being a varsity sort of college jacket. So I just banged it on at $29.99. Uh, no, I didn't. I put it on at $24.99. Someone offered me 20 quid. So I accepted it. And it went literally within hours of me putting it on. So somebody, I think, probably had a search set up for this kind of jacket using some of the keywords that I've got in the title, whether it be the Mecca, because that was the brand of the, or a Varsity jacket or Mecca King or something, because it popped up, must have popped up really quick and they, they wanted it, it despite the condition. So it just shows you that if you can price it right, it's worth putting on. Oh, 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 quick, quick, quick. He's, 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 he's in and then he's going tap pedal. Apparently, it's his birthday today. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Derek. But you said he was just popping in and going to watch no worries. it back. Have, happy birthday. Yeah, have a good day. I did send him happy birthday already today anyway. Um, so this was an item out of, remember that big camera job lot that we had a while back? Um, I've slowly been listing it all. It's been selling quite consistently. Every couple of weeks, I've seemed to sell an item from it. Um, this was one such item, a £20 um, lens, or whatever you call them. Yeah, it's a lens, isn't it? I'm not really well up on these things. Well, you listed it as a lens, so I'm, I'm just, hoping I'm so. just reading the <laughs> description. <laughs> um, I had to do loads of research on these items. I've still got some stuff that I need to list from that job lot, but it seems to be going pretty well. Uh, but this was another one, so 19 99 only a couple of pound in it for, for me, maybe cost... By the time you split it up, this maybe have been three or four pounds for this item. 
So another item from the USA job lot that uh, we brought back from the States. Um, I had this listed at $22.99. I know it was right at the top end of the market. Um, it, it's generally what I tend to do anyway. But this one had a sound box in it, and it had a sound box from the film Trolls, which is why I aimed high. But I took an offer of it for £15, which I thought was a fair offer. And um, we sold that, and that cost us $2. One well, I think it was one dollar ninety nine, um, which is around one pound fifty. So one pound fifty to fifteen, I'll take that. Another vintage sale. This was a Harley Davidson um, jacket. This was a really nice jacket. I seem to be seeing a lot of people selling Harley Davidson stuff at the moment. I've seen quite a bit on uh, Instagram as well. So I don't know what what the thing is at the minute with Harley Davidson. But um, this was from a vintage sale. It sold for 50, I think, around the 50 pound mark on an offer. Um, it probably cost around 10 pound. It's not particularly heavy, but it's quite big um, and bulky. So yeah, it probably cost about 10 pound. And here's a good one. Look at this. <laughs> he was actually sad when this happened, believe oh. it or not. <laughs> he was sad. He messaged me because he was sad. I was like, somebody's bought 10 of me Chopper Chops caps. <laughs> He's like, I quite like him just finding out where they're going and sending them off to people. <laughs> yeah. I've, uh, we've got this thing going on. I think we mentioned it last week where we're, we're spreading the Chopper Chops caps all over the world. So now the interesting thing with this, uh, somebody bought 10 a bulk load of 10 um they paid 25 pound on an offer not 29.99 that was the original price so they got them at two pound 50 per cap but get this it went to a thrift shop in the uk i can't remember which town it was you remember i told you didn't i but it's i can't remember the town it went to a thrift shop um, so I'm thinking they're going to try and resell these caps, which is fine. I've got no problem with that. But you were like, I didn't even know we had thrift shops in the UK. The it, the actual title of the address was something or other thrift store somewhere in the UK. So that was a that was an interesting one. So ten caps going out. Right, I've been. You've been tra tracking. Well, I've been. I kept coming back to this one particular one because there's somebody who's popped in called Jamie uh, Carstairs, and he says, "Hi guys, I found your Instagram page today, and I'm just getting into the eBay, Amazon reselling world. I'm also starting a podcast documenting people's side hustles, and would love to have you as guests." All right. Okay. Cool. So you'll. Um... No problem. Yeah, we'll do it. Drop me. Um... Drop me a message somewhere, Instagram or something. Just send us a message and tell us what it's all about. And, um, yeah, I don't see a problem with that. We'd, uh, we'd like to do that, I'm sure. Uh, other than that, um, Al Stone Vintage likes the Nyx top. was nice that. My son wanted that, but it, it wasn't big enough for him. Uh, Mad Tata says he loves it when someone does multi-buy and it clears out a particular item. I've still got two of those plush toys left so if those two sell that's 32 at 57 uh that's not that's 90 quid for two four six seven, <laughs> ten. that's it's been a long day <laughs> that's 90 quid for something like a 12 pound spend so that's quite good i like that yeah uh, mad tata said no doubt someone that went to that school bought that varsity jacket i've seen people sell really specific and i'm sure us high school yearbooks as well so i guess it's the same deal maybe yeah possibly nostalgia isn't it yeah oh that was a mad tatter was it that's mm. Andy. yeah very very uh strange that it went so quickly though i was i thought that's just going to sit on there no one's going to be in the slightest bit interested i think we were kind of hoping that's going to be the case with those um marble whatever they are that we bought you know we bought loads of them from that amazing thrift store and we got 
we ended up buying them all. All the marble ones, the yeah. The marble plaque things. They're, they're all listed. I've they're listed all them. related to high schools, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Harley Davidson stuff, yeah. <laughs> Mad Tata said they'll probably be selling the caps uh, as seen on a car boot Chris's video. <laughs> uh, you know what, though? They could What they could have done is they could have said, oh, will you sign them all for us? <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd be worth absolutely nothing. He's getting a bit into this. When somebody first asked him to sign it, which I think was... Linda and Gaz, because she wanted it as a gift for Gaz for Christmas. And he was a bit. He was it. a bit like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. It feels a bit... now he's like, anybody want signature? I'll well, sign it. <laughs> all right, whatever. Shut up. Uh, Jamie says, "Thank guys, he'll send you a message on Instagram." Bro. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot, um, Andrew did ask if you were eating your cake with cheese ages ago, but no, I didn't. Oh. Do you know why? Because I served him the cake and I couldn't be bothered bringing him cheese, so no, he's at it on Not his Not this own time. Um, Matt Tata said they'll be forging your autograph soon. It's not difficult, it wasn't, a, it's not a, a very hard one to forge, is it? Not really. <laughs> I did it. I didn't do our proper signatures, but I just did like something that visually looked all right. Oh, I, no. I actually don't know how to do my signature yet, seeing as we've only been married just over a, a year. It's, you don't realize until you change your name, you don't actually do your signature very often anymore. So now when people ask me, I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I could help if they have to compare it because it'll be completely different. Here's where I've got a note here of where all the Chupa Chups caps are being sold to or sent. Because I haven't, I mean, some of them have gone out for free. Um, so two have gone to Wrexham. Um, and that's two different ones. To, there's someone Not else. To Andrew. <laughs> I sold one to some, uh, did I sell one or send one? I sent one to someone else in Wrexham, just around the corner from you, Andrew, which I'm not allowed to disclose their address, but two to Wrexham. So one to California, um, Surrey, Edinburgh, Lincolnshire, Adelaide in Australia, Kent, Brighton and Hove, the Isle of Wight, Cheshire, Las Vegas, and Ramsgate. So we are spreading those caps yeah, we're everywhere. We're spreading the chupa chup. Chupa chup love. Uh, Linda says Gaz loved his hat. I'm going <laughs> to assume it's Linda because she said Gaz loved his hat. Uh, Andrew, who in Rexham has been taking my hats? Um, I had a purchase from a young lady in Wrexham, and uh, she bought something from me from YouTube after seeing it on YouTube. And um, I sent her a, a hat which she was very happy about. And she does not live far from you, but of course, I'm not going to disclose any further. You must know this Alstone Vintage Co. Because he said, Chris, I have read all them comics you sent me. Have you got a list of your others? Feeling supersonic a gram, Insta. Ah, oh, right, yes. Sorry, I didn't I didn't make the connection there. I told you it would be somebody with a different name. It always is. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you got all your comics okay. Um, I've got so many. It's just ridiculous. I've got so many current comics. Now and again, I go through a purge and I'll... I'll pick a pile and I'll go through and try and list them. But um, I've got loads. I think, and I'll, I think I will get around to I it. Think, yeah, but if he's interested in more, you'd have to give him an idea on genres. Well, he, we did have we had quite a lot of conversation on Instagram because he was he was telling me what he was looking for, like dark horse and stuff like this. So I was I was sending him pictures of different things. The yeah. best thing, really. I mean, if you look, I can't remember. I think you said you were about an hour away, weren't you? The, the the ideal thing would be if you, you know, before we leave anyway to Devon and Fries, you'd be miles away. But uh, if you wanted to pop over sometime and literally go through them all, you could do. But um, other than that, just keep keep your eye on Instagram, um, and you know maybe we'll do some business again in the future. Hmm. Uh, Matt Tata says, get a will wrap up, stick pins in it where you've sent them. We're going to do something. We're going to make a video um, at some point when I've sold a few more. We're, we were going to do something like the video. life and travels of Chupa Chup Caps. So we need people 
to start getting them sent to some obscure places. I thought it was quite funny the other day. Was it Andrew's live that you was on? Was it Andrew's where you all ended up putting your chupa chup caps on and you, oh, yeah. <laughs> you were all sat there wearing it? Um, I need to take a screenshot of that actually. That could be like the that could be the cover for the thumbnail image for the video. Yeah. Uh, Mel from back from the burnout is in. Hi Mel, thanks for joining us. Uh, uh, uh. Anyone got any questions for us? Um, I think we've got around what we've got about ten minutes left or something, ten or twelve minutes before um, our hour is up. So if you've got any questions for us, just drop them in. Sales this week haven't been very good, if I'm honest. And I know I've kind of said this last week, but because we were, I was away Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, I was literally only um, selling similar, some old stuff. So I didn't do any proper listings Thursday, Friday. Saturday, what were we doing? I did, Recovering. Some, I did some listings on Saturday. <coughs> yesterday, what were we doing yesterday? What day was it yesterday? Sunday. Sunday. I was working, so I don't know what you were doing. I did a little bit of listing yesterday. Today we had a funeral to go to, so I've not done much today. I did and do my car's gone in, so you've been driving me around. No, to be you? fair, I've probably still done about fifteen listings today, so I'm still playing catch mm. up. But I've I've had promoted listings on on and off over the last couple of weeks, and they don't seem to be doing much at the moment. I'm not I don't, I'm not getting many sellings um, sales from the promoted items. Um, I've got it on like four to five percent as well, so I've got quite a high percentage going. Crony, crony G Crone, evening all. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Um, what have I, what have I got to go out the door? I've got Nick's top. I sold a vinyl nation, which is a little Disney figure for a tenner. I'll tell you this, something that was absolutely unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Even though we went to view houses Thursday, Friday, and he would have had the opportunity because he did go check out the two charity shops that were in the area we're moving to. He actually didn't buy a single item of stock while we were back in Devon. Did nope. you? Nothing. I didn't buy anything, but I wasn't looking. But that doesn't normally stop us. Normally, know, it's like we get sidetracked. But to be fair, it was a bit of a. It was a bit mad. A bit we, were, hands -on, we were going. It? We were going from place to place. We really didn't have time for sourcing. And we will. This is if there's one bit of advice we can give anybody that wants to come see us when we're in Devon: travel through the night. Yeah. Because going down there, we set off at like half three in the morning because our first viewing was at half ten on the Thursday. So we just got up and, and did it. And we got there in line. Well, if you take out the break, stop. Because we took Cookie with us, didn't we? We took the dog with us. Uh, if you take out the breaks for rests, it took us four and a half hours to do that drive. And that is, that is almost a perfect drive. So I would advise driving through the night. Now, on the way back, we left at um, about lunchtime. It wasn't late, it was about half. About half 12, half 12, one o'clock. Yeah. Um, we left about lunchtime. Um, there, was a, there was a problem on the M6. What part of the M6 was closed? There was um, accidents here, there, and everywhere. It took us six and a half hours, plus rest breaks as well um so it was horrendous coming home so if anyone does come down to see us you got to travel late in the evening or early in the morning yeah but the one thing i will say six and a half hours in the car cookie absolute diamond once oh she was good as well she was so good apart from the bit where it got to tea time and she was getting restless in the boot so i ended up having to climb because we were stuck on a country lane in traffic that wasn't moving so i had to climb into the back seat and hand feed her her dinner out of the bowl because she wouldn't eat it because it was like out of the ordinary for her yeah it was a bit unusual so and, and bear in mind it was dark as well it was like playing russian roulette with this dog bowl because she has a mixture of uh, dry biscuits and wet meat so i was like for god's i don't want to pick the wet meat up so i was literally like pick, trying to pick out the biscuits <laughs> to feed her <laughs> And the car stunk. He did, and the car stunk of dog food. Oh. <laughs> did 
doing a drive like that and, this, and the smell was nasty. Yeah. She's a bit spoilt cookie and when it's on our routine, she she just, like yeah, she's one of these dogs where she'll just like, we tried to feed, we tried to feed on the edge of the road when we stopped, didn't we? Like put it in a bowl and she just wasn't interested because it's like we don't normally get fed on the edge of the road. But then obviously when it got late, she was getting a bit tetchy in the car because she was hungry. But yeah, we have to hand feed her. Yeah, she gets a bit moody. Yeah, she? she does. Anyone got snow? Uh, no, we had hailstone. We had it really a ton of hailstone come down this afternoon, and but that was it. DBG says she went saucing in a blizzard today. Oh, right. So she's had some some snow down in over in Ireland. I mean, it's, it's been windy and we've had the odd patch where it's just the heavens have opened and it's kind of... Oh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, because I was in work, so I got out of this. Oh, my God. The rain was coming down that heavy that um, my back, our back door has a tiny little... Our back yard has a tiny little slope on it and the drainage is not very good at all. It's like there's some blockage in the drain somewhere. Um, and it started filling up. It just would not stop raining. Let's hope the guy who's buying our house isn't listening to this because now we're going to have to fix the drains. Now you've declared it over live on YouTube. <laughs> so it was filling up and filling up. Um, and I'm starting to worry a bit. So I rang her and I said, uh, I'm getting a bit worried because it was it was approaching three inches at the back door and one more inch and it probably would have come in. But he's on the phone to me. I'm in work and he's like... It, I, I don't know what to do and he's like and i've not got any wellies to go outside and i'm like well you're gonna have to get wet then aren't you <laughs> so what i had to do was i put on some old trainers i went out in my pajama bottoms it was freezing i put a jacket on and a hat i looked like a complete buffoon <laughs> and i got a bucket and i was bucketing out of the back door um out the gate at the back of the house and i did that for about an hour it was pissing it down, so I was putting water out there. The rain was coming down. It was like pissing in the wind. <laughs> but the important thing is, we didn't flood, so it must have done something. And you had that good a workout. You've done nothing but moan about your bum cheeks today. Tell you what, my bum cheeks, my bum cheeks must be really toned. Do you have a look later? <laughs> Have a look at my bump cheeks later. They've got a proper peachy sort of <laughs> muscles because I've been barely been able to stand up and sit down. <laughs> it must have been that repetitive crouching, going like this. Squats. For an hour doing squats. You try that. <laughs> bucketing water out. Oh, he's funny. But I'm, I'm, my, my bottom must be like, <laughs> ooh, proper... Proper peachy. Uh, Steve Bradham said you should have called Fix It, Frida. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, to be honest with you, if it weren't so cold, wet and windy, I might have actually rung her and said, can you come over and help me? Well, to be fair, you had arranged for her to come round to help you empty the shed out. And I was like, you are aware we're supposed to be having a storm tomorrow. And you were like, oh, yeah, better cancel. Oh, yeah, that's a point. The cow shed. I mean, it leaks water left, right, and centre, doesn't it? You need to go and yeah. check it out, Andrew. Make sure all your stuff's okay. Yeah. I hope it is. I don't. I wouldn't want any of your gear to be wrecked. Crony Crown said Bell didn't film it. If I'd have been at home, trust me, I'd have been absolutely wetting myself filming it. Definitely. I I tell you what, I look like an absolute idiot. <laughs> it was just the way on the phone. You went. I've not got wellies. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> and. <laughs> And I don't know what he expected me to do while I was at work. <laughs> I was I was absolutely drenched. I mean, <sighs> it was just horrible. I was so cold. But at least one of us is going after the house. Yeah. yeah, I hope it's okay, Andrew. You need to get down there and make sure everything's all right. Yeah, you do. Oh. The heavens have oh, just opened. Bloody again. raining again. I'm sick of it. Uh, right, we're on 57. So. so has anyone got any more questions for us before we wrap it up today? Um, 
it's been nice chatting with you all, even though you haven't said anything back. We've been basically talking to ourselves. No, we haven't. People have been joining in. Well, technically, we're talking to ourselves, aren't we? Because we do not get any voices coming back to us. I've got plenty of voices in my head. Mm. <laughs> no, but thanks, uh, thanks everyone for coming along and watching and um, taking part in the side chat, which is over there. So thank you. Um, are we on next week? No reason why we're not on next week. So we'll probably see you 7 p.m. next week, which is uh, the seventh Monday, the seventeenth. Yeah, I don't think there's any attention. I have no idea. I'm, you're lucky if I know what day it is at the moment, let alone anything else. Let us know. I'd, I'd be interested to hear what your your feelings are about the Monday night show. Um, would you prefer it on another night? So when we move, we could literally could move it to another night. We could do a longer show. We already know that people aren't happy that we've cut it down to an hour and we've cut out all our sections. So no matter how many times you ask, you need to face the fact you're going to have to put that effort in and put it back to the way it was. Right, you we'll created probably... a monster that people like. Now you can't take it away. Mm. Isn't that right, folks? Did you want to watch a Nike or the uh, quiz? That's what it is. <laughs> mm, probably. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So I think we'll wrap it up. Um Thanks, guys, and thank you. For yeah, thanks everyone. for all your congrats and stuff. It's it's an exciting time, and it's yeah, we will take you all with us. Don't worry. And don't forget, of course, um, if you want to go and check out our eBay store, you can find it at www.movie-fusion.uk. Um, and uh, 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 let me just use this. Oh, I can't do it. There it is. Um, that is our logo, which we use on everything to do with our store. Do you know, it seems such a long time ago. I remember when we sat and made that for our um, Facebook selling page. Mm. Yeah, I mean, little we... did we know back then no. how iconic that would be. And you never know; one day that might be the same logo that we use for our cafe. It is, yeah, Could just with the like cafe. little cafe at the bottom yeah, there, like round about there. Cafe. That's what I reckon anyway. Well, that's enough of the nostalgia. Let's go. Okay. So thanks again, everybody. Um, let me take that off and finish up with our trademark ending. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you later.